okay uh, moving on we'll be moving on to activity number three now so activity number three is web authoring activity where we are required to design a couple of web pages okay uh, for this particular activity I'll be using Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 okay so you might be using a slightly different version so there might be a few changes this way that way okay but pretty much most of the features will be almost the same okay let's see how it goes so when you come down to task a3 the first thing it says is open a new word processing document enter these details in the header and save the document as task a3 here so let me come to my folder let me right click and uh, say I want a new word document and uh, the name is going to be task a3 here. let's open it up and uh, do not forget immediately to go into the header so I'm going to double click on the header and I'm going to be typing task a3 your name your candidate number and your center number okay uh, then next it goes on to say Simon wants you to create two pages for his website content for the website is stored in web page okay so you should be having this document with you web page do check and see if you have it I do have it with me so when I open it up I can see the content that I will be needing okay so this is the content that I will be needing for my web pages okay then the question paper goes on to say uh, he wants you to create two linked pages a home page and a courses web page okay both web pages must be saved as .html create the home page based on this design so this is the layout that I am supposed to be following okay uh, so shall we go ahead and get started shall we go ahead and put the content inside this and thereafter we can or we can go through each of these instructions okay so initially for now let us just get the content inside okay so now when you look at this layout when you look at this layout over here you can take it as a table okay so if you consider this as a table you can consider this area as one column you can consider it as one column here and a second column over here okay so we can go something like this we have one column over here if you can follow my cursor and this can be our second column in terms of rows this can be one row this can be a second row sorry this can be a second row this can be the third row this area can be the, fo the fourth row this can be the fifth row and this can be our sixth row okay so we can have two columns and six rows uh, for this particular web page okay so I'm using Dreamweaver CS6 so I have opened it up and uh, when you come here it will ask you what type of a document you want you can say you want a brand new HTML page so that's what loads on your screen okay and I'm gonna be sticking fully to design view I will not be going to code view I'll be for the moment sticking to design view so let me first get my table created let's come to insert and let's come all the way to table and here it asks you how many rows how many columns so remember we had six rows and two columns okay and also something else that's very important is keep the table width at 100 percent because 100 percent means fit full screen that's what 100 percent means okay if you put it into pixels it may be too big for certain screens it might be too small for certain screens okay because you never know on what type of a screen is your web page going to be viewed the examiner might view it on a tab he might view it on a smartphone he might view it on a desktop PC okay you do not know what type of a screen he's going to view it on so instead of going with pixels stick to 100% 100% means entire screen fit the entire screen okay doesn't matter what type of a screen is being used okay then we have something called border thickness do you want your table to have borders I prefer for it not to have borders but if you want it to have borders you can put a value over here you can either put 0 0 means no borders or you can put 1 1 means you want a border to be present okay so I prefer no borders and I'm gonna say okay so when I click okay my table is going to be created okay so for now can you see these dotted borders over here so these dotted borders are only visible on Dreamweaver when I open it on Google Chrome these dotted borders will not be visible okay these are just right now for my reference only when I view it in the web browser because I put border equals zero right so when I view it in the web browser these borders will not be visible okay so let's get started then the first row as you can see the first row is completely merged okay the first row first column and second column is merged so let me do that as well select the first column second column of the first row right click table merge cells okay shortcut keys control alt M okay so over here the company logo and the company name should be appearing up 
logo and company name as you can see this is center aligned so I'm also going to stick in the center okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click I'm going to say align and I'm going to stay in the center keep the cursor in the center now let's go and get my logo so my logo is over here let's uh, press ctrl c ctrl c means copy let's come over here and press ctrl v which means paste okay so it's reminding me to save my work i'll do it later then it's asking me for, for, for an alternate text so alternate text means in case the image does not load you can show some text okay so for now i'll just simply put cs kuba logo okay so you can see my logo has appeared and it's way too big so from the corners while holding the shift key i'm going to make it smaller okay make it about this size that looks better now you want your table to come back to its normal size right so you can just come and double click on the borders it will all come back to its original size okay uh, so now we need to put the company name so the company name is cs kuba okay and uh, let's keep the company name in the banner okay so over here they will tell you how the company name should be and all that so when we come down to that question we can deal with it okay for now let's just get the content inside okay the next thing is the page title so the first page that i'm creating is the home page that's the first page i'm creating so the title is going to be home once again keep in mind if you can notice the second row first column and second column are merged so how do i do it select these two columns right click table merge cells okay so those two have got merged don't forget you need to be aligned in the center so align center and I'm going to say home okay that's also done then the third row links to other pages so the link to the other page the other page would be courses okay so let me come to the third row let me merge these two select these two right click table merge cells don't forget to center align paragraph sorry align center and I need to type over here courses okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say I need to have one image of 250 pixels by 250 pixels so this image appears in the fourth row and this image appears in the fifth row okay so have they told me anything about the type of image that I need to use they have just said include two appropriate images from the images folder so it's up to you to decide on what type of an image you want so first I'll get my cursor in the center align center now let me go into the images folder and look for a suitable image i think this is related to diving so let's copy this copy let's come over here and paste it <coughs> let's say diving and say okay uh, if you look very carefully at the question paper did you notice over here it says 250 by 250 so let me stick to that when i click on the image as you noticed below the width and the height also appears okay as you can see below the width and height appears in order for this to appear you have to be clicked on the image okay if you have not clicked on the image the width and height will not appear and sometimes this might appear as a locked padlock so lock padlock means when you change the width automatically the height will also change it will proportionally change okay so I don't want it to proportionally change I want it to be exactly 250 by 250 so in that case you will have to unlock this padlock so just click on it and it unlocks and from over here you can say I want it to be 250 and I want the height to also be 250 enter enter okay then do not forget you also have to put a second image so let's come to align let's come to center okay let's get one more image something that you think would be fit for purpose uh, so let's go this also looks like some si some kind of diving so control C let's come over here control V okay I'm gonna say diving two. and once again this has to be 250 by 250 okay enter now once again you want your table to auto adjust so just come and double click on the borders can you see I'm gonna keep my cursor over here and I'm going to double click on this okay it did not properly auto adjust so let me manually pull it myself come all the way here there you go that looks perfect okay and then anything else that needs to be done so the images have been done email address and telephone number has to be put in the last row and if you look very carefully you can see the last row has been fully merged okay so the last row is over here first column second column select them both right click table merge cells okay 
don't forget to center a line a line center so the cursor is now blinking in the center <coughs> don't forget to get your telephone number and email address so that is given right at the beginning of this paper let's come over here let's copy the telephone control C control V and in the next line let me take the email control C control V okay so what needs to be done with the email all that will come later on too okay for now let's just go with what the question paper is asking in the layout okay so I'm going a bit too okay so we were over here so in terms of the layout in terms of the layout I have got everything that has been mentioned over here logo company name page title link introductory text I did not get so from where do I get the introductory text they told me to refer to the web page right I hope you remember so in web page you can see uh, this is the information that needs to come in the home page and this is the information that needs to come in the courses page okay so let me just copy this control C let's come over here let's come to Dreamweaver and if you also look very carefully guys one more thing can you see these two rows okay these two rows can you see they have been merged the second column of the fourth row and the second column of the fifth row have been merged okay so let us also do the same thing these two let's select it right click table merge cells okay and don't forget to keep the cursor in the center so right click align center so you can see now the cursor is blinking in the center now we can paste our information control V and the information has got pasted okay now let's go one by one through each question and see what needs to be done okay so I have completely obeyed the layout okay exactly as they have told me I have done it okay now the first thing they say is the background color should be dark sea green so this is the color code that needs to be applied to the background okay so how do we apply the background you can come to modify and you can come to page properties okay so page properties if you look on the right hand side you can see what is the shortcut key it's control J so if you can use a shortcut key it will be much faster for you okay so once you take page properties guys you will get a dialog box like this okay and over here there are various properties that you can apply to this web page but for now we just need only one property which is that it has to be dark sea green which is 8 FB C 8 F so let's come to background color hashtag 8 FB C 8 F okay this is the color code for the background color let's say apply and let's say okay so that color has been applied to the background then the next thing is the text for the introductory text should be midnight blue okay so they have specifically told you only for the introductory text this color needs to be applied so when you want to apply a color for a specific text only you have to create a style okay what you need to do is you need to create a style and you need to attach this color to that style and then apply that style wherever you want it to appear okay let me show you so what I need to do is I need to first create a style let me just right click on my screen and I'll come to something called CSS styles and I'm going to create a new style okay the name of this style I'll give it a simple name like intro okay just give it a meaningful name I'll give it the name intro and I'll say okay then my computer asks me a question which is what are the properties you want to apply for this style so once again there are so many properties that I can apply for this style I'm just gonna change only one thing I'm only going to apply one property which is the color which is the color it needs to be midnight what the color needs to be uh, midnight blue which is 191970 191970 so this is the color this is the only property I'm applying to the style intro so I'm gonna say okay now it's time for me to go and apply this style to my text so where do I need to apply it where do I need to apply it I need to apply it for the introductory track introductory text okay so let me select the introductory text which is this let me right click CSS styles and say I want the intro style applied to it okay so there you go can you see the color has changed now okay so this is how we apply a style to a specific part of your web page okay then next guys the next thing that we need to do is use these HTML elements the company name needs to be h1 so you need to know h1 is heading 1 okay so company name is over here let's select the company name let's right click let's come to paragraph format and say we want it to be heading 1 okay so that's also done the next thing is 
the page title it needs to be size 18 it needs to be bold it needs to be italics okay so for this you need to create a new style okay so we can call the style page title again okay so let us go ahead and create a new style right click css style we want a new style let's just give it the name as page underscore title okay page underscore title because you can't keep spaces in your style name so i put underscore say okay so what are the properties for this style what are the properties first property is going to be size 18 second property is that it's going to be bold and third property is it's going to be italic so let's come to uh, font style and say we want it to be italic and font weight we want it to be bold okay so these three styles i'm attaching it to the page title style okay these three properties i'm attaching it to the page title style okay now i click on okay now it's time for me to go and apply this style so i select the word home select the word home right click css style and i say apply page title into it okay so that particular style was applied over here okay then the next one it says the introductory text should be a paragraph so it is already a paragraph if you want you can check you can right click paragraph format you can see it's already a paragraph okay then the question paper goes on to say include two appropriate images from the images folder and position them as shown in the design we already did this as you can see we have already put both the images the next thing it says is one of the images must link to www.cscuba.net so one of the images when the user clicks on it should take them to www.cscuba.net so this is very simple you just click on your image and can you see at the bottom you have something called link okay which is basically hyperlink you can click over there and you can say i want it to go to www.cscuba.net okay so once you have typed your hyperlink do not forget to press the enter key which means apply okay so once you click apply this hyperlink will be attached to this image so when the user clicks on the image it will take them to www.cscuba.net okay then the question paper goes on to say include appropriate content from the web page document we already did that okay so from this document we already took the content that was required okay include the email address and telephone number for celtic spring scuba we already did that the contact details are in the scenario make the email address an email link so the email address should become an email link so how do we make this an email link select the email address and type the following for the link okay so you have to type mail to mail to okay colon simon at cscuba.net okay so if you want to make a uh, email address a hyperlink this is how you do it you select the email address and then for the link you must type mail to put a colon and type simon at cscuba.net okay so once you press enter can you see this becomes a hyperlink now if the user clicks on this in the web browser when the user clicks on simon at cscuba.net the computer will ask him whether he wants to create an email okay so this is how you create a hyperlink for an email address okay the next the question paper says save the home page as index so let's save it as index let's come to file let's come to save make sure you save it in the correct folder inside your 2019 folder and save it as index okay so the dot html will automatically appear can you see at the bottom it's saving it as a dot html file so you can click on save okay the file has got saved uh, then next thing that you need to do take a screenshot of your home page in a web browser okay so let's open it in the web browser let's open this in our web browser index so this is our web page we have to take a screenshot so you can press use the print screen button on your keyboard print screen and then you can come to where are you supposed to paste it you are supposed to paste a screenshot in document task a3 okay so come to task a3 control v and you can see your screenshot has been pasted okay uh, next what do we have to do uh, do not print at this stage okay so this remaining part we will continue in our next video okay see you in the next video